Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and this is actually going to be a pre-recorded video of a let's play of a space game that I may have taken a look at previously. I'm actually away right now for about 8 to 9 days visiting a relative who doesn't believe in internet, unfortunately. So I can't really uh, upload videos from here. For this reason I decided to pre-upload a bunch of stuff and this is going to be one of those pre-uploaded videos. Enjoy it, hopefully you like it and I'll see you when I come back. Space out! Um, lost just a little bit, tiny, tiny bit lost, mostly because this, this series is pretty big. I mean, it's, it's not, not difficult to get lost here. But, all right, let me, let me get back to this when I figure this out. And we'll continue from there. Oh, wait, it's here, no? Is it not? There's your status, it's offline. Oh, wait, di diagnostics, okay. Unable to connect. Insufficient power. Manually realign pillars one and two on the moon's surface. Yes, we get to get to the moon's surface. That's exactly what I wanted. Open vehicle bay. Wait, is this going to be one of those oxygen things again? Okay, how, how about that? You open the doors, but you give me like a really cool EVA suit. So I don't have to worry about oxygen. Power the vehicle bay to access the moon's surface. Ooh, we get to drive a vehicle with a little buddy that's next to us. What is this? Offline. Should I have done that? I think so, because it says... It says, and we're not going back to maintenance. Right? It said, like, do something with a, with a vehicle. Vehicle bay. And we need two keys. Vehicle bay 2. Vehicle bay 1. And uh, crew quarters. We don't need to go there. Maybe we do. No, we don't. So, oh, yeah. So, we only have three choices, basically. But which, which vehicle bay are we using? Let's, let's go with one. vehicle bay to access the moon surface oh wait i need two of these is that what you're saying i think that's what you're saying uh where's the other one then oh no i don't think i've seen another one of these things it feels like i've been running in circles now i don't know where that second piece is it's been about, like, what, 10 minutes now. I've been just kind of going around looking for that second battery. Maybe, just maybe, there's another way of solving this. Am I not thinking outside of the box again? Alright, so I'm supposed to... Wait, I haven't actually tried crew quarters. Oh, and I think in the crew quarter section, there was, there was a door to... Yeah, there was a door to storage. And I'm sure... I'm sure that's what I have to do. I have to go into storage. Right? Yeah, this is new. I haven't been here yet. That looks terrifying. Is it shooting at me? It's actually shooting at me. No, 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 no. I don't want that. This game was so peaceful until now. Why? Okay, except for the fact that I destroyed the space station, I have to survive by breathing air, like capsules, while flying through space. Everything else was very peaceful. For the most part. A straight chair. Okay, to the developers. Did you guys run out of things to write things about? <laughs> okay, let me read it first before I criticize. Although the WSA protocol strictly forbids physical conflict on the moon, MacArthur equipped security ASSE drones with electric shockers for crowd control. Many expressed concerns over their dangerous voltage. When facing an armed drone, most would rather flee than fight. Ah, so it's not really about the chair. Oh, 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 so there's no glass here. So now I have to run through very quickly. Ha! Ah. You didn't get me, you sucker. Can can my little dude fly in there and do something or no? Or 
Or can I just cut this? No, right? I don't think so. Um, I'm a little bit curious about what's inside that room. Oh, there, there it is. Whoa. Okay, not terrifying at all. Okay. I'm kind of terrified to move right now. This room looks exactly like the room in Alien Isolation. One where you meet Alien for the like one of the first times. Gain access. So we need that thing though. We need to take that from, from this guy. From this little jerk. Come in, Rolf. I'm at the quarters. Do you read me? Copy that, Sarah. I hear you. Numbers. Anything interesting? Everything's deserted, so nothing new here. Sarah, Rolf, this is Pearson Control. Our time's running out. Take the elevator back up here to make it in time for evacuation. You've got two minutes. Negative control. MPT network is still offline. Leave it. We have to go. Head to the elevator now. I'm not putting anyone in risk. Understood. Wrapping up now. Sarah, you heard control. Are you almost here? Sarah, come in. Everything okay? Come in. Rolf, get over here quickly. An AZ unit just activated, but something's not right. The doors are locked behind me. What do you mean? We've got to go. I'm serious, Rolf. Get over here. I can't get out. 30 seconds or you're too late for evac. Get to the elevator Negative now. control. Engineer Baker requires immediate assistance. We need more time. The evacuation procedure cannot be delayed. Negative. I'm calling up the elevator now. Negative control. Control. No, guys. There's still time. I just need some help. Rolf, are you still there? Whoa! So those uh, little robot thingies went uh, berserk, and our aliens were involved. Maybe I'm still kind of fifty-fifty on that alien thing. We received another formal request from Sarah Baker, the engineer working at Pearson Space Station. She keeps asking about the canceled shipments for the Orion Wing. I worry that she might suspect something. How should we proceed? Okay. She emailed me too. Sees all communication with her. Outward cannot be compromised. So it's all about this outward. And it's clear that they reprogrammed the robots to basically like protect their interests, but what happened to uh, what happened to Sarah? Bunk beds. The Tombow facility was evacuated under obscure pretenses around the same time the empathy went offline. Whatever transpired in Tombow, these quarters provided ample room for temporary shelter under MacArthur's watchful eye. So basically, it's mystery after mystery after mystery after mystery after mystery. And we still don't know what the bathrooms look like, because we're not allowed to go in. I think this is one of the few games I've ever played that does not allow you to go into bathrooms. The, everything is awesome, everything is very detailed, but the bathrooms remain, remain mystery. Oh, that's, that's cool. Because we all know that nothing good ever happens in uh, in bathrooms, in uh, mystery or horror games. Oh, this is just a ping pong tally. I'm looking for the numbers for that door. I don't think I saw them anywhere. Did I? Did I miss them? No, there was nothing inside. Maybe on the second floor. Do any of these open? Nope. Oh, here we go. Uh, inside here? Any numbers written anywhere? Is that a Snickers bar? No! Give me my battery. Give me all my lights back. Okay, there's some space Snickers. Although technically, shouldn't it be like Mars because you're in space? Okay, here we go. What's really funny is that I actually have not seen Mars, the, the bar, the chocolate bar, on sale like anywhere. I don't know what happened to it. And Milky Way, that's another one. Milky Way and Mars is like gone. At least from from my vicinity. In emergencies use Moon Hub's construction year to enter the office. Oh! Okay, construction year. It was in the beginning of the level. They basically said, oh, it was building, blah, 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 blah. 2038? 
2008, maybe? I forgot. I forgot. I didn't I didn't really listen very carefully. Okay. Pioneer or dictator? I'm gonna go with dictator. You're talking about MacArthur, right? So do I run back to the beginning of the level to find out the date? Or do we brute force it? Oh, it's here. No? No? Damn it. It's not here. What year was it? I think it was 2038. 2030 something. Alright. Um, so... Let's try 2038 first. And if it doesn't work, we'll... I'm gonna run back and spare you the time. Damn it. 2039. Damn it. 2037. Damn it. Oh, it's right here. 2032. Uh, apparently the door was locked. I couldn't run back. So there's also that. Thank you. Uh oh, is that the room with the robot? Okay, run, 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 run. Oh, ouch! That was that was a big ouch. That was very painful. Very painful. What do we do? We have to grab the power thingy. Can I use my little guy? Hello. I am a friendly robot. I'm going to... Eh. Oh, I just fly through. Uh... Oh, I didn't realize that. It kind of gives me hints on where to go. What? Can I shoot you with something? No. What do I do? Is there something in this? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we go... Ah, uh, okay. I get it. We run around the room and then we go inside. That makes sense. Hey. Hey. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Okay, well, it hit me, but that's okay. Interact. Oh, take that. All right. So that's what I was looking for. Now, the next question is, how do we get out from here? Oh, here. Okay, thank you. You made it much easier than, than I thought it was going to be. Thank you for that. So now this goes into the second vehicle bay. So what happened to the girl? Okay, so in the, in the recording, we heard her being attacked by one of the robot thingies. Well, what happened to her? Maybe they carried her away? Did that work? Vehicle bay. Offline. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And then we take this. Mm, and then we'll put it over there. And then... Okay. I, can, I think this is going to be the most fun part. Wait. What is that? What is that sound? I heard something. I don't trust this game anymore. Uh, but yeah, once we get to right around the moon, that's going to be just like epic, right? This is what we've been all waiting for. The moon race. Okay, so then where do I go? Do I go here? Do I go there? What is this? I press this? Maybe? I don't know why, but uh, I did that. Okay, there's some sort of a tram. Let's take this down. Manually realign the empty. Oh. Manually realign the empty pillars outside Copernicus Moon Hub. Realign empty pillar one out of two. So, oh, I have to open this, right? Surface Ops. And then. What's in, what's in there? Is this anything? No. 
Do I press this? Okay. This one has no wheels. Wait, are those wheels? I don't know, this doesn't look very sturdy. I think it has no wheels. Okay, what 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 else what options do I have? Do we have anything better for me? Oh yeah, that one has wheels. Okay. Cool cool cool. Oh okay, so I need to pull this, right? Or is it the other one? Nope, not this one. Oh, it's already open. Okay. So then I just go in. Is it that easy? I didn't have to pull anything? For reals? <laughs> For once I'm given access right away? You just literally press? Oh! Wow, this is so cool. Amazing! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it yet. But the door is locked. The, the, the door. The door. Honey? Oh, I have to place my wheels on the thing. Ah, I get it. Oh, that's so smart. That's really cool. Automatic door opener. Oh, here we go. Now I have to do this again. Whoa, amazing. Okay, then the game kind of lagged out a little bit. Look at that. And the sound is gone because it's the moon. It was so cool. Super cool. Okay, okay. Okay, I, I gotta do this. I just wanna go drive around. Oh my god, this is amazing. They should have just done like... An, just like a game about this. Like driving around the moon. So awesome. I think the only other game that ever let me um, drive on the moon is Take on Mars. It has a moon section, a moon level. But um, this game has been in early access for as long as I remember. Like for like seven years now, I think. Six years. For a really long time. And it's kind of sad. It's sad that they haven't really finished it. Uh, if you don't know, Take on Mars is made by the same developers as the Arma games. And they've always finished their Arma games. That's their main moneymaker. But they have not finished Take on Mars. Even the rocks are flying around, huh? That's really cool. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, this is totally worth it. All the puzzles, everything, just for this. It's gotta be like the best part of the game. And look, we can get, we get to actually see the elevator, right? Kind of. I cannot, can't really put my camera that high. All right, so I want to see what these things are. I'm guessing that's the helium-3 reactors. Where they produce the, supposed to produce the energy. And then we're going to go to the towers. Oh, okay, well, clearly the game developers knew I was going to do that. So they, they, they don't permit me to do that. But you know, like, if they actually release some kind of a DLC where you just literally drive around the moon and explore it and find all these cool things, that would be really cool. That would be really awesome. One thing I have to kind of point out is that the gravity seems a little bit too high for the moon. Oh, <gasps> crater. I'm gonna go inside the crater. Okay, I cannot go inside the crater. Go back. No, 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 no. Slow down. Okay, here we go. The gravity is a little bit too high. The uh, the buggy should be a little bit more bouncy. Too high, too high. Oh, there we go. I can kind of see the elevator from here. All right, so we need to very carefully, gently, kind of do this, right? Or do I just get out? Warning, no oxygen. What do you mean? At all? I have some oxygen, no? Do I have no... Oh, wow, look at that. Yay! Okay, now the gravity seems more... 
more proper, more appropriate. Oh, this is so cool. I really just want to play this, like, for an hour. Forget about saving people. Maybe that's what they all decided, like, you know what? Moon is too cool. Like, forget about the energy. Okay, we need to align ourselves again. Why is it so difficult? Here we go. One. Two more. Excellent. I think I have to get out though, right? There's no way this buggy is going to fit in there. Okay, here we go. So, inside of this we need to... Realign something. I forgot what. Uh, pillar. It's called a pillar. And we do this by doing... Let's use our hint machine. What do we do? Oh, we just go inside. Huh? Right? Or no? Yes or no? Oh, oh, I'm stuck. No! Uh... Wait... Okay, this is the hint, right? Oh, here we go. I didn't see that before. Maintenance. Don't break. Don't break. Every ladder breaks in this game. Don't break. Eh? Oh, I have to go outside again. Why did the gravity suddenly change so much? That's so funny. We went from running like on Earth back to running on the moon. Interesting. I think maybe this was the error of the the programming error. They forgot to change the gravity for when you're inside the building. This looks really cool though. Okay, I should probably maybe not spend so much time observing everything and like admiring the view when my oxygen might run out. Okay, what do I do? Where do I go? Here? Oh my god, you make me climb pretty high. I really hope there's oxygen there. Yeah, there is, right? This is oxygen. Isn't it? I think it is. Okay. Whoa, this thing is big. What's this? This guy's blinking at me. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, this is so cool. So... Uh, no, that's not what we have to do. Oh, oh, it, oh my god, I didn't see it. It's right there, right? There we go. Ha. Huh? Connect. Yeah. That way. Was that enough? Oh, thank you so much for dropping me off right in front of the vehicle. That was very kind of you. Okay, very good. So that's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Now we go to the second one. So basically, that's all we have to do to base to to restart the power. Is that all that was missing? I wonder if that's all we need to do, and this will give power back to to the planet. Oh, so cool! Yeah, the gravity is too high, though. Oh, oh! I knew that was gonna happen. Please don't, 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 no. Oh, yeah, thank you. All right. There was the video I made about Take on Mars, possibly a few months ago, where I was actually playing through one of the scenarios where you are driving a buggy on, um, I think it was Europa. And the mission takes you about maybe 40 minutes to finish, but the last part is where you have to drive a buggy through the Europa very rugged terrain. And I think pretty much everyone I watched on YouTube, including myself, we all flipped the buggy like the last second and you fail the mission. 
and you fail the mission and you don't want to play it again because it was so annoying. So we all kind of gave up. I actually did find uh, someone who finally finished it. But the terrain on Europa is so rugged that you would not be able to drive it that well. Including the moon, actually. The gravity, the lack of gravity, that is, combined with the fact that um, you're basically driving a buggy, means that you would be flipping left and right. In order for the buggy to actually not flip so much, it, you would need to have some kind of an engine, like a, almost like a tiny rocket engine, um, on top of the vehicle, pushing it downwards, so that the buggy doesn't flip. Uh, okay, here we go. Hurry up. Come on, Fortuna, you can do it. Run faster. Bigger steps, bigger steps. Okay. And... Whoa, what is that? That's new. Is it broken? Oh, wait, that can kill me, apparently. I, th I have a feeling we have to repair this. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Stay here, stay here. Okay, run. Okay, then. Well, that's unexpected. Why is it doing that? That that is not good. I have a horrible feeling the game is going to ask me to repair this later. All right, so let's realign ourselves again. This time it should take only a few seconds. Last time it took me two minutes to figure out what what to point at. And here we go. And then please don't explode. Oh, okay, energy is in uh, being transported. Station power online, vehicle being online, MPT network. Okay. Um, okay, first of all, way ahead of you, Claire. Second of all, I think I have to go here first, right? For diagnostics. That's what it said. Reset the power at Moonham. Okay. And... Can I just get out? I can just get out. Okay, thank you. So now... Uh, I, yeah, I think I think we just have to reset this, or do the diagnostic thing, and then possibly go to the... Okay. See that? You hear that? This is very unnerving. I don't like that sound. Um, yeah, okay, so once we do this, we're going to that other station, right? Is it working? Online? Not established. No connection, why not? Oh, okay, so we do have to go to Tombo Reactor. Diagnose MPT at Tombo Reactor Facility. Monorail to Tombo Reactor Facility offline. So we're taking a monorail. Oh, I thought we were going to drive there. That would have been so much more fun. Why can't we just drive there?
Look, I have a perfectly nice vehicle right there. Wow, so this gave energy to the entire station. Cool. Why couldn't they just do that before they left? I don't understand why they abandoned the station when they could have just simply do this. It took me less than half an hour. Me and whatever that flying can is. Wasn't that difficult, guys. Wasn't that difficult. Alright. Uh, oh, nice cutscene. Oh, wait, 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 here we go. Well, wonderful person, hopefully you enjoyed this part. There's going to be another one coming tomorrow. And uh, there's also going to be a few videos that I pre-recorded in advance coming in between these videos, just so that you have something else to watch once in a while. Like I said, I'm going to be back soon, but basically enjoy this and see you tomorrow.